The Honey Badger is a carbine unlocked at rank 62. It does 33 to 22 damage and has a 65 to 105 damage range. It has a time to kill of 0.15 and an average muzzle velocity of 2000 plus a nice 800 RPM. The Honey Badger has a great headshot multiplier of 1.4 while its torso multiplier is non-existent. With these stats, the Honey Badger can kill with 4 body shots up to 94 studs and kills with 3 headshots up to 98 studs. However, beyond that, it takes 5 body shots or 4 headshots to kill. However, with the long barrel attachment, the Honey Badger now kills with 4 body shots up to an astonishing 129 studs and kills with 3 headshots up to an insane 174 studs. Plus, the very nice added bonus of 100 extra points in muzzle velocity. The Honey Badger has a higher than average 1.3 penetration depth that goes all the way up to 1.9 with armor piercing. The Honey Badger has a 30 round mag plus 1 if you chamber while having 120 reserve ammo. The regular reload time is 1.7 seconds while the empty reload takes 2.2 seconds. Attachment wise, the Honey Badger is thriving because it has access to two of the best attachments in the game. Long Barrel and Full Stock, and both are heavily recommended on almost any setup. This is because the Long Barrel is by far one of the best barrel attachments in the game and Full Stock is one of if not the best recoil dampening attachment in the entire game. So by combining the two you have a crazy good carbide in your hand that outclasses a good portion of the assault rifles, especially in ranged performance. The Honey Badger doesn't have any special ammo options like conversions, but both Hollow Point and Armor Piercing are fantastic on this weapon for reasons I'll get into later. Despite coming with an inbuilt suppressor, you are actually able to remove it and put other attachments on such as the usual compensator or muzzle brake. However, I wouldn't recommend doing so because Long Barrel is just so much better in every aspect and it keeps you off the radar as well. The optimal setup for the Honey Badger is the stock iron sights or a reflex if you don't like the stock iron sights, long barrel, stubby grip, and of course full stock. I'm not going to recommend an ammo type in this segment, so let's get into the segment that's appropriate for that now. The Honey Badger by default promotes a stealthy-ish kind of playstyle with the permanent suppressor, meaning attacking from unexpected or tricky angles is the stock playstyle that this gun promotes. However, with the long barrel to further enhance ranged capabilities alongside the tracerless ammo plus a mid-magnification scope like the Pilot or C79, this playstyle can reach its maximum potential. So a setup for this playstyle I recommend Pilot 3 or C79 for their around mid magnification, long barrel, folding grip since higher magnification sights have worse camera recoil, full stock, and of course tracerless. The second playstyle is going to be what I like to call the pseudo LMG. The Honey Badger with armor piercing has 1.9 studs penetration, which is similar to that of most LMGs. With this, the amount of things you can shoot through becomes way broader than most other carbides or even assault rifles. For this playstyle, I'd recommend Reflex Sight, Long Barrel, Stubby Grip, Full Stock, and then of course Armor Piercing. Last off, we have the CQC Honey Badger. See, when you put Hollow Point on the Honey Badger, the damage goes all the way up to 39.6, which is near the same damage as the AKM. And you may be thinking, but Hollow Point cuts your damage range in half, and with Hollow Point, it only does 18 damage at range. But with this, the Honey Badger 3 shots up to 55 studs. And sure, that may not sound appealing at first, but with Long Barrel, it 3 shot kills up to 68 studs, and still keeps it 4 shot capabilities up to 108 studs. But this is a CQC setup we're talking about, so to finish it off, you're going to need the Muzzle Booster. Now, hear me out. With the muzzle booster, your time to kill goes all the way down from 0.15 to 0.13. And since Phantom Force doesn't calculate the time to kill when hollow point is applied, it's fair to estimate that your time to kill is around 0.11 or 0.10, which is insanely good. And if you're scared of the muzzle booster's increase in recoil, then remember you still have full stock and any grip of choice to dampen it. So for this playstyle, I recommend stock honey badger sights, muzzle booster, Stubby Grip, Full Stock, and Yours Truly Hollow Point.
So the Honey Badger is part of the tryhard category in terms of the community that uses it. The Honey Badger community has a very strong rivalry with the HK416 community as the guns those two communities represent are essentially rival weapons because both are so similar. People who use the Honey Badger will in turn take the game very seriously and will argue day and night that the Honey Badger outclasses the HK416. They are most likely going to be playing like your average tryhard with the classic setup of reflex sight, long barrel, folding grip, and full suck. You know, nothing original that hasn't been seen a billion times before. They can be toxic when provoked however, so it's best to just not interact with them at all, since if you as much as call them sweaty, they become extremely toxic. In conclusion, the Honey Badger is a jack of all trades kind of carbine having good stats by default alongside access to two of the best attachments in the game. It has many different playstyles to choose from, each with its own pros and cons. The Honey Badger has a wide selection of uses, so really any type of player can enjoy it, whether you're looking for a high damage CQC monster or stealthy ranged weapon, it's got you covered. Top it off being unlocked mid rank, meaning that it's a fairly accessible weapon. Well, that's all for this time. This is the first time I've really deep dived into a gun like that, but it was definitely a fun video to make. I'm planning on making more of these full gun rundown videos, so if you have any guns you'd like a rundown of, then comment down below. But as always, if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like, subscribe, but most importantly, share this video with others, since making videos like these is my passion and I really want to keep doing it in the future. But until next time, peace.